Hey guys, it's me Caleb TJ here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Jurassic Craft for Minecraft, as you probably saw in the title. Let's get into this. Okay, so... As you can see, I have my home screen. I don't know if you'll be able to do this on Android. I am currently on iPhone. So you're gonna wanna type in Jurassic Craft on this. And uh, I made a video about this on my old channel. And a lot of people said that this, uh, a lot of people said that this is a scam and stuff. Wasn't for me. I've had it on so many devices. It's never done anything for me. Now, it might be different for the different companies or something. I don't know. So it's 3.0. I'm not going to go through everything. As you can see, it has quite a few dislikes. It's not the best out of them all. I mean, the one in Minecraft Forge will probably be better. I might make a video of how to do that in the future. So you're going to want to go ahead and get the app. And then, once you have your app, you're going to go into it, how to install. Uh, you're not going to have to go through this. It would probably be easier if I just told you. So you're going to go into the details. You can read all the stuff about it and all the stuff. The items in the background do not come with the pack, sadly. That's some other thing. That's the texture pack you have to get and stuff. Okay, I'm not paying a dollar. I know it's so cheap, although I'm not going to do it. So if you guys have a dollar to spare or something, you can do that. What you're going to do is, is install resource. You're then going to tap on a few things. Link will be in the description for the... Uh, um. Well, I'm sorry, I don't think it's going to be in the description. Uh, I don't know, I'll think about it. Anyways, but, so you're going to click install resource, and then you're going to, and then it's going to bring you, bring you to like a little page of where you want to put it to. You're going to click Minecraft, it'll then bring you in the app. You're, um, this is for Minecraft Pocket Edition, I believe. Anyways, or vanilla, I think, I don't know. Anyways, so you're going to want to go to your vanilla Minecraft, I believe it is, or Bedrock. People call it different things. I'm pretty sure it's the same version, though. I don't know. You can correct me about that in the comments. I know there's going to be thousands of people bugging me about that. Anyways, so what? So after you do that, it's going to bring you to the game. And then it's, gonna, and then it's either going to say failed to import and, or or six are successfully imported. It says failed to import. I don't know about that. I'll do a video about that in the future. If it's a successfully import, then you're then you're good. You're gonna do the same for install behavior. Once you do that, you're gonna get out of this app. Let me just go ahead and delete that. Anyways, and then you're gonna wanna go over to your Minecraft game. Now, I might gonna have to rotate your screen for this because it's gonna be. All right. So then, I'm gonna sign in. Profile. Go. All right, good. There we go. So then you're gonna wanna. Let me source specs. So you're gonna wanna do this, and then you're gonna wanna create new, create new world. Select the game mode for the world, name, world type, and all that stuff. Then you're gonna wanna go to resource packs. You're then gonna click my packs and whatever you have on there. This is for resource, you should see a resource pack that you downloaded for a dollar. You're then gonna click, um, tap on it, and click activate, and it should pop up above here then. The same for behavior, go to my packs, activate, it should be above here. You're going to create your world, and there you go, and I'll do, and I might do a video in the future of how to control it and all that. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Me, Caleb TJ here, signing out. Goodbye.